Hi Gemini, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you wanna book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is going on for Gemini? What is your overarching or overriding energy or theme this week and this week you've got the emperor right so this week is about authority for you this week is, is about power it's about you making a decision this week based on what is right and good for you now usually Geminis can be quite objective you know they're very good at sort of factoring in all the all factoring all of the facts for sure but factoring in all of the facets of something that's you know that's coming forward now the Emperor represents uh, education it represents authority it represents police officers you know people in uniform all of that sort of stuff as a destiny card, it reminds you that you need to be the authority in your own life. As your destiny card for the week, it basically says there is a decision that's going to have to be made this week, Gemini. And ultimately, the decision that you go for or go with needs to be the one that is true to who you are. That is actually going to give you the experience that you need, that you desire. Um, effectively, what I'm trying to tell you this week, Gemini, is it's time to be selfish. It's time to put yourself first. If there's something that doesn't work for you or there's something that you want or need, um, then this is the time for you to really speak up and say, look, this is what I want. This is what I need. And this is how I'm going to proceed. Um, <laughs> that rhymes. All right. So your direction, what does it relate to? So your intuition and also some form of hidden intu uh, hidden information. So interesting set of cards, actually. Because your high priestess is that hidden thing revealed, right? The emperor card is about that authority and you making that big decision based on what's right for you. It could be this week that there's, I kind of feel like there's something that you already know. And it's like this week you're, you're looking to back your intuition up. It's like you know something, you know it in your heart of hearts. And you, it's almost like you will not stop this week until somebody finally admits to you or fesses up or says, you know, exactly as it is, which I find really interesting because it, the feeling that I get from this, it's almost like there's a secret that you're not meant to know, but you know it anyway. And you're just waiting for this other person to kind of tell you it. And you're biding your time. You're being very, very patient about it. Uh, and you will keep sort of prodding and dropping hints, but eventually at some point, probably around Thursday actually, I don't know why, but that's the day that's coming to me. Um, I kind of feel like you'll then be in a position where you're gonna say, look, you know what? I already know this. I've given you several chances to come clean. Uh, now that you have it, um, you, you know, now that, now that I'm telling you basically I know, I expect you to give me the full story, right? That's on a personal level. On a broader level, for those of you that are dealing with legal matters, and there have been several Geminis that I know have been going through this, you're about to gain some sort of inside information. It could be something that swings a case or a, 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 a situation in your favor. Um, it might be that the news that you gain, the information that you gain or the secret that you learn, it might be a little bit sort of like, oh, wow, okay, I didn't expect that, but it will be information that you can use to your best advantage. So, you know, even no matter, even if it's shocking or kind of like, oh, okay, uh, do not lose your shit, right? Hang on to yourself. Uh, use that information wisely. So well, let's have a look behind the scenes. What is going on in your insight card? You've got the five of pentacles, right? So it could be that this happens to be about something of a financial nature. The five of pentacles is basically saying you cannot come from the lack mindset this week. When you learn this information, when you gain this secret knowledge, 
uh, don't sit in a funk at, oh, well, you know, I can't believe they didn't tell me or I can't believe I didn't have this. You've literally got to keep going. That's the message that I'm getting for you this week. You can't uh, take that, you know, find out the secret and be like, oh, you know, I can't believe this. Like, literally take it and apply it straight away. What is wisdom? Knowledge applied, right? So this week, as soon as you get that information, you make it work for you. ASAP and uh, you'll be glad to know that Mercury goes direct. Mercury is your ruler, right? So it goes direct on the second, won't be fully out of shadow until around the 11th or the 12th, but even still it is direct. So this is the week, all right? I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. If it's not too personal, please, uh, you know, let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care. I'll see you soon.